This is the reward of the reality of Ahlul Badr. Then Allah's description of the event of Ahlul Badr is Surah 3, verse 13. So, the reality of 313, the 313 companions of Ahlul Badr, inshaAllah. So Ali Imran 13 inshaAllah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد كان لكم آية في فيعتين التقطا فئة تقاتل في سبيل الله فئة تقاتل في سبيل الله وأخرى كافرة يرونهم مثليهم رأي العين والله يؤيد بنصره من يشاء إن في ذلك لعبرة لأولي الأبصار صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم بلغت رسول الكريم that from the immense reality of Ahli al-Badr that Allah Ayat al-Kareem describes their event that had come to you already a sign in this battle of the two armies, one fighting in the way of Allah with their immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and the other resisting Allah and as a result they saw with their own eyes twice the number of the believing army, that their eyes saw the army of Sayyidina Muhammad as immense and overwhelming to them. But Allah supports with His aid and with His support whom He pleases, His supporting of Sayyidina Muhammad And this is a warning for such who have eyes to see that the Ahlul Basira, that their eyes of their heart to, to see and to understand its immense realities. 
that Allah describing the event and the reality of these holy companions, how much they were supported, how much the enemy of Allah will be bewildered with their eyes and with all their senses that are all under the subjugation of Allah the dominion of Allah that in that event we've taught many times the Prophet was to test his holy companions, 313 of these holy companions and the test was that we are going to get a caravan that had all the wealth of Mecca. Come with me, light in your armour, not prepared for battle. It should be easy for us to go and get this caravan and take what is, is required to take of it. So it means it was a, of a dunya nature that was the enticement and ask the holy companions 313, let us go. And this is just an abbreviation for us to understand. They went out into the, to the deserts to prepare for the arrival of the caravan, to overtake the caravan with ease and thinking they're going to go home. And Allah changed it but this is a reminder in a timeless reality. Many people are attracted for something from dunya towards the shaykhs towards the tariqah because the shaykhs just represent the heart of Prophet That everybody's allured with something, an opening, a relief, a rizq, a, a health, something has to allure people towards that reality. And Allah then changed the circumstances, that caravan of wealth went in a different direction and in its place a huge and immense army began to form. Once they heard that Prophet had gathered people for uh, taking their caravan, they switched out the caravan and brought an immense army to come against Prophet hoping once and for all to destroy that reality. As soon as Sayyidina Muhammad got word of that, the test came out to the companions that, I brought you for one reason out into this desert and as Allah has it He changed it. And now that caravan of, of wealth is gone, this is now a caravan of warfare coming in our direction. And they are heavily armed and we are greatly outnumbered. I give you permission that this was not what we had set out for, anyone who wishes to leave can leave at this time. And this is the immensity of the character of Ashab al-Nabi which within him are all Ahlul Bayt and all Ashab al-Nabi are in that 313 gathering. And immediately they said that, Whatever you gave to us we have taken it. You told us what to abstain, we have abstained. You told us what to do, we are doing. We will go with you all the way to our death and never leave your side. And the immensity of their example that they are fighting in the way of Allah but Allah wants us to understand that their love for Sayyidina Muhammad was their key, that it wasn't about just you say Allah but the immensity of their love for Prophet they could not imagine to leave him unattended. He knew that Prophet would never stand down, it's not even legal for the Messenger of Allah to back away, you can never retreat. So they knew that we are not going to leave this reality to be by itself, we came to die for that reality. And that would establish the immensity of their haqqaiq and 313 of Ahlul Badr are standing on the 313 awliyaullah who inherit from them this reality, their istiqam, their firmness and their commitment 
to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad they could never imagine to leave the side of that reality, walk away from that reality that we came and left everything of dunya and our greatest hope is to die in that reality. Prophet was so happy by their reply in that test that Allah immediately revealed that as soon as the armies were approaching he began to to cheer out Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar and I see the angels coming. The Jai Nasrullah, the Sayyidina Muhammad is Nasrullah, is the victory and the support of Allah and Allah brought the angels to manifest in yellow turbans, red turbans, black turbans and as they were descending onto the battlefield they were striking the necks of these people who were coming against the reality of Prophet The immensity of the support, the immensity of the fear and the haybat that Allah put into the heart of those who tried to come against the Messenger of Allah that's the, the key to its understanding that your support and my support in life is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and never to leave that side. And our support is an immense support is because of that love. Allah doesn't help us because He helps me and you. The secret of Allah's help is that you have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in you and my support is coming and is attracted to that love. Why He sent angels to be manifest for them? Because the support did not let, a, let Prophet down. All this reality that all this ishq and all this love that they have, no doubt Allah قُلَيْنِ كُنْتُمْ تُوْهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَتَابِيُونِ يُوْهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ That Allah says, you followed to the best that could be tested, that you came for dunya and you exchanged it all at that moment for akhirah, for death was certain for them with the sheer number of the… in the battlefield. The immensity of their love for Allah the immensity of that love that manifest, they knew that that love its manifestation is in the reality of Prophet At that time Allah granted them their ahad, granted them their covenants, granted them their realities. That how the, that reality is such a support for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad that all these holy companions reaching their, their covenant with Allah reaching their lights and their blessings with Allah that all the, the, the whole heavenly kingdom its reality is appearing on earth at that time because each reaching their perfection by that event and being dressed by its realities, blessed by its realities. As a result Allah then describing So Surat al-Nasr is a description of, of this whole love for Prophet and in your life if you have this love and this, this immense love and attraction to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah describes in the 110th surah of Holy Qur'an which is the code for Imam Ali's name of 110 that when the victory of Allah has come and the conquest because Nasrullah the victory is the love and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad if that's within you and you see the people entering into the religion of Allah in multitudes, that every difficulty to be pushed away, every badness to be pushed away, these become the guides of the Muhammadan nation in which the ambassadorship of the love and the light is emanating within your hearts. Then Allah then exalt in Allah that these are the people whom are praising and in continuous zikr of Allah to your Lord and ask for forgiveness from Him. 
that continually making tawbah and istighfar, Ya Rabbi forgive me, forgive my family, forgive my community, forgive all my descendants. And you'll find, you will find him to be accepting of all repentance. So this is an immense blessing not only because this is Bab al-Maghfirah that Allah made that event to be on the 17th of Ramadan, Allah is the programmer of all events. How in the, the gate of Maghfirah Allah makes this destined event to be at this time. And then inspires only Allah that remember that event, they are an immense gate and an immense opportunity for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad By remembering what they did, by remembering their names, immense support comes on to you, immense difficulties be taken away from you. Your movement into the lights of Allah the maghfirah of Allah be dressed upon you. And huqana tawaba is for our souls that Allah no doubt if you have the love for Prophet love for his holy companions, you understood the reality that you, you put your love and sacrifice everything for the sake of that love to ask to inherit from them, no doubt they become the support of your madad. Anyone whom you remember, remembers you in a higher association. Allah Remember me because I will remember you in a higher association. People who don't make zikr, what an opportunity they're missing that when you are continuously praising upon Allah Allah's promises that, I will remember you within my paradises and infinite realities that can't be understood. And all whom we remember of this heavenly reality they're remembering us in realities that we can't even, even achieve or understand or even un comprehend. That what are they remembering of us, how are they remembering our names because we recited their names on everything. And through that rain becomes a rain of rahmah and mercy upon our soul. By means of that every difficulty taken away, by means of that every opening becomes an opening. That every block that blocks Ya Rafi from the barak of Sayyidina Muhammad wa Ahlil Badr that provide an opening for me from every difficulty to be taken away. We pray that Allah dress us from these ayat al kareem dress us from Surat al kareem dress us from the immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad grant us these oceans of maghfirah and forgiveness. For hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha.